Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Lamp Post, which is um, an SCP game. Uh, I did a little bit of reading on this Lamp Post SCP, and basically it's a story about a lamp post that shows up. And it apparently can't move, but it somehow teleports around. It moves. It's been known, seen in different locations. But when this lamp post shows up, it's not hostile. But another SCP shows up if you're in range of this SCP. I don't know if that's going to be like in this game, but I was curious because it said it was SCP related. So I wanted to check it out. So yeah, this is lamp post. Okay. Making my way downtown drive. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. Random lamppost SCP XXXX is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research. Conduct a research, okay. And get further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Okay. Interesting. Oh, my team. Dr. Hayden. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. Oh, it's right there. It's literally right in front of me. Okay. SCP does seem to show doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by force, yet the objects in the area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain, must contain those objects. Here, this is an analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities, like frequency signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I will be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us. Just in case, if anything happens, and Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any help. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant. Avoid interactions with the lamppost and good luck. Okay. Move. Oh, wow. I'm slow. I am... That's me sprinting, huh? Oh. These don't look normal. Did it tell me there was a way to... Oh. oh, it started ringing. What? Oh, oh, right here. One object. Okay, so you guys are just patrolling. Nice. Okay. I'm looking for objects. Are you one? The bottle of... Whatever alcoholic beverage this is, is an anomaly and it should not be here. Instead, I should avoid interacting with the lamppost. So I'm going to try doing that. There shouldn't be a desk fan out here, right? Book. Gasoline. Another book. Gasoline. Oh, 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 a shovel. Is there something buried here? Huh. Okay. I mean, cans over here, maybe. Oh, okay, that's three, or is that four? I think that was three. Okay, let's see. Is it the coffee, or is it that? It was, in fact, the coffee. Hmm, is that everything? I feel like that was only four items. I don't want to get too close to the lamppost, though. I'll do one more. One more loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. Avoid the lamppost at all cost. You're kind of close, though, um... Dr. Thorne. Aren't you the medical one? The one that's supposed to patch us up? Um... So as when I look at that, it doesn't set off 
an anomaly. Hmm. Hello, fifth object. Um, wait, bloody footprints walking into this wall, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Curious about that as well. Oh. Report to Dr. Cooper. I'm on the way, Dr. Cooper. I'm running as fast as I can. Doctor, doctor. You're gonna want to see this. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? What the hell? No one is allowed in this area yet. There are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. Okay, I'm assuming that thing behind him was the other SCP that the lamppost attracts. Oh dear. I've been... I've been teleported. Find a way out, huh? Oh, there's notes. Date unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost, emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that their vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around it. After that, it starts emitting a strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappear. But I, but I didn't touch it. Oh. Aw, oh, hell nah. Do I need a battery for anything? Do I need to power, like, elect electrical things to get out of here? Oh, I, my run's a little bit quicker now. I don't like that. Ah, uh, hell nah. Oh. Um. In my defense, I hate maze games. And I was really not expecting it to be a maze game. So I'm, unless it's not a maze game and this is just like an aesthetic choice here. Coco, Coco. Hey. Ugh. Jiggle. Trying to peek. Oh, maybe I don't walk into those, you know. That's where the door was. This is definitely a maze game. Maze games just freak me out, man. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Am I turning on computers? Is that my goal? Oh, hello, shadow man. Oh, man, something about the sound. It wasn't exactly it's terrifying. It's one of those things that isn't it more like a sensory thing? Like, it just overwhelms you with like a crazy sound. And that makes it scary. Something's walking. To any, ob to any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of the eye, it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by the lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe. And it will trap you there forever, without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Um, but I don't feel safe here. Go to- Oh! Buddy! I'm booking it. 
Um, booking it. Oh, wait, that's a dead end. I'm booking it back this way. Wait, no, I'm not insane. The lamppost was at that spot. Right? Ah, uh, right here. Okay. Getting teleported. Had a feeling we weren't done. Van's gone. Even the trees right here are gone. I think I hear cars driving also. Even like, this was stone too. Hmm. Oh! Hey. Hey. Do, do I need to go? Game by Neven. Ooh. Okay, I was expecting to be a little more scared. I really thought it was going to be like, oh, make your way through this maze and get chased. But it was more of it just was there occasionally when you turn around, which isn't fun. Not like it's not fun to play, but like, I, I just hate when it, 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 it's just there to jump scare you for a second or to make you feel a little uneasy and then it's like done. Oh, my heart. I was, I thought I was going to have to run for my life. I was like, man, the sprint's way too slow. Honestly, not that bad. I mean, I've only played one other SCP game and it was a uh, SCP. What is that one? Uh, The staircase one, the one where you would like walk down the stairwell. SCP 07B or something like that. Which, I thought that was a good game, too. I, I like all the SCP stuff, personally. It, they're, like, super cool concepts, and, like, it's cool that there's, like, a whole, like, catalog, database thing of all the different SCPs. So, really cool. It was a short experience, but super fun. But, yeah, so if you liked that video, please hit this like button and subscribe for more content. If you have any game suggestions, drop those in the comments down below. Um, yeah, and other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.